If you're watching this video, you're probably a BMW enthusiast like I am. And if you are an enthusiast, then you already know sometimes the smallest upgrades can make the biggest difference and overall just transform the car entirely. Having your brake calipers match the same color as your push start button, having carbon fiber mirror caps that match your carbon fiber spoiler and carbon fiber front lip just all around tie the car together. And overall, those fine little details paint the bigger picture of whatever your build is. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's in this little box here and show you that the the smallest upgrades make the biggest difference even when it comes down to the engine bay of your car so let's go ahead and get right into the video let's go so coming under my bmw's engine bay you guys can see i have some upgrades done it's pretty clean i have my aftermarket strut brace i have my fully metal upgraded oil filter housing cap my upgraded red tubing video for that dropping soon but overall it's pretty clean i mean you guys gave me a lot of flack last time my engine bay was dirty so i made sure to come prepared but besides this red cap and the red tubing down there there's really not much going on that's super aesthetically pleasing except the strut brace so in today's video what we're going to be installing is an upgraded little coolant cap and an upgraded oil cap that matches our oil filter housing cap. It's gonna be full aluminum and really tie this engine bay in together and just make everything look so much sportier. So let's go ahead, open this up. All right, let's go ahead and start unboxing. So Bov Mods, I bought a lot of things from these guys lately. A lot of these upgrades from, they've been super clutch. It's where I got my digital dash from as well, but I've got that and I got a few other things on the car from these guys, super clutch, recommend. Bam, and here we go, pretty nicely packaged. Put that off to the side. Nice, put that off to the side as well. And then, ooh, what we got here? Ah, a little sticker throw the sticker on the car somewhere maybe on the air intake right here actually sweet guys so here we have the upgraded caps so let's go ahead and take them out so they're nicely packaged some bubble wrap we got some screws and stuff like that in the back take these out so we don't drop them but this right here is to be our new performance oil cap and that looks sinister guys i freaking love how it looks nice hefty weight to it i'm digging this this looks extremely extremely nice little m performance on the bottom Look at that, now we have an M3. No, just kidding, but this is actually super nice. It's grippy so you can turn the knob like very easily. And then here we have some screws that are gonna actually connect this onto where that oil cap is. And then now we have the coolant cap, so we'll take this out, same thing. But wow, that looks nice too. M Performance, shiny red. And yeah, guys, this feels really good, very premium, not super heavy, but it has nice weight to it. it has a little coolant indicator to let you know that this is coolant has M Performance written on it. It's indented and grooved. Love the way this looks. It's gonna look absolutely sick on our E92's engine bay. So let's go ahead and start installing. As you guys can see, the factory coolant cap looks absolutely bland and boring. Nothing interesting going on. So this is how this will look. Wow, look at that. Direct fit over the top. Dude, this is gonna look so nice. Look at the difference just from something so small, right? There we have the factory cap and now our upgraded Bov Mods one. This looks absolutely wicked. That spices up the entire engine bay. And then to install this is gonna be extremely simple. You're gonna make sure that the coolant cap is in the full secured position because we don't want this BMW logo and etc to end up being upside down. So we want the cap to show just like this every time we look at the engine bay. So make sure our coolant cap is fully locked. Place this straight over the top. And now we'll grab our included hardware and go ahead and open this up. And it'll come with four little retention screws and then an Allen key. And we can see just like that, this is how it's gonna fit. And now the best way I found to do this is go ahead and set all three screws into place. That way you can go through and tighten one at a time. So you'll tighten a little here, a little here, and then a little there, and then keep bouncing around. And then we're simply gonna press down on the cap while we turn in these screws. And they don't have to tighten all the way flush. Once you're actually having to start putting torque, that's how you know to stop. You don't actually have to dig this entire thing all the way in. And now there's one on the back, so we are actually gonna have to start to loosen now. Sweet, just like that, it's fully installed. And you can see just from stepping back, the engine bay now does look a lot more sporty and really just color coordinated. I love the little hints of red going all throughout. This is just a totally different look on the car. Even though it's something small, like just an oil cap, it makes a very large difference when you factor in red, red, 
red, and then you come around to the brake calipers, red as well. The push start button on the interior is red as well. So overall, just ties everything together nicely. Looks 10 out of 10. I would definitely say that this cap for 20, 30 bucks is definitely worth it. And I did buy the oil cap as well, guys, but the only reason I'm not gonna install this is because I have my strut brace. It's just a very, very tight fit, and I don't wanna deal with this in the future for oil changes, because that'll just be a hassle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this off to the side. How about this, actually? Anybody who comments a little red circle emoji down below, I'll go ahead and ship this out to you 100% for free. I'll go through and I'll select one person throughout this week and yeah, I'll send this out to you completely free of charge. So comment down below, red circle. Overall guys, even though the engine bay is typically one of the things that's most neglected or not cared for by car enthusiasts, I would definitely say it makes a huge difference of the overall appearance of the car. Even just having a clean engine bay, nice and shiny and not filthy, looks worlds better than having a dirty mess where you pop the hood and there's dust coming out. It makes the car look a lot more taken care of and overall just, again, paints the bigger picture of your build. So I personally always recommend cool little upgrades like this because I truly feel like the smallest upgrades make the biggest differences, especially when it comes to color coordination, right? It's like you wouldn't paint your calipers red and then have yellow push start buttons and blue tubing and things like that. That just doesn't make sense. So overall, this ties your build together and really just ticks that little OCD box for me personally. I'm gonna be giving this out to one of y'all. All you have to do is comment a red circle emoji in the comments and then I'll read through them and at the end of the week I'll pick one person and I'll ship this out to you completely for free I'll message you my Instagram and we could go about it that way but I'm gonna go ahead and ship this out to one of y'all completely free of charge just because I really can't use it because my strut brace I'll go ahead and pop a link for this upgraded oil filler cap and the upgraded coolant cap down below with everything else as always thank y'all so much for watching I love each and every one of y'all and I'll catch y'all in the next video Peace out. And don't forget to comment red circle emoji so one of y'all can get this.